Um, this year I was basically working with a um, fungus that is called Fusarium head blight, and I was working with one of the species that causes it, which is called Fusarium graminearum. And um, I was basically using a bunch of different aqueous extracts in trying to see how well they could control Fusarium's growth. And from my entire project, I've learned that um, tamarind is very good with a specific strain of Fusarium, and that garlic has extremely valuable antifungal properties, and some of them are possibly novel. And I want to continue this research and see if these properties are actually novel or not. What I've learned about the scientific method and the scientific process is mainly that it's a perpetual cycle. So that even if I'm done my research project, someone else is going to read about it or something and then have more questions and then they'll have their own project and then someone will read their um, conclusions and then get interested. So it's kind of really continuous and there's no stopping it and that it builds on itself. So even if your project didn't go well, or if you got negative results, something that you weren't like hoping for, it's still helping fill in all of these missing puzzle pieces. And then as people go through the scientific process more and more, all of these puzzle pieces are getting filled in. So that's really exciting to see. When you see projects that have been rigorously tested and there's been many replicates, things like that performed on them, I think it's really trustworthy because there's a certain kind of precision and accuracy to the scientific method that you can't really match with anything else. Publish something that's completely revolutionary. People aren't just going to accept it without checking it. Mm -hmm. So that way, if you lied about your results, people are going to find out. You should really focus on the things that you're curious about and that you're passionate about because science is really a method of answering and satisfying curiosity. So, like, through the year, I have a bunch of questions that I come across on just, like, wondering about certain things, and then those can obviously be proposed in scientific ways, so then I could have a project out of that. So I kind of just keep, like, a log of all the questions I have throughout the year, and when the time comes to write a proposal, I kind of go through all of them and look at the one that I'm most curious about, or the one that's most feasible, and I start thinking about all the different things that could the possible solutions to it or that could um, fit with it. And then after doing that, the hardest part is probably coming up with the actual methodology and how to test it because that's usually the most complicated thing because there's so many different ways to do it. You have to determine what is the best way to do it and also what is the most feasible way to do it and also efficiency because lab materials are expensive. <laughs> So um, I guess those are the hardest parts, and then it's just putting in the time to actually go through that method and do all the research. My mentors have been absolutely fantastic for the past few years. Um, they've been very, very patient and very kind in guiding me, so like whenever I don't know anything, I'm the type that asks a lot of questions while I do something because I kind of just like have to have it answered before I go through with it. So if I ask those, they don't get frustrated and they're like, just wait, they'll actually explain it to me. So that's been absolutely fantastic. And um, one mentor I had last year, Sarita, she was actually like really great because she wasn't only focusing on the procedures of it, but also the application of biotechnology on the whole so that um, it actually helped like the passion that goes into it. So she was, one of the mentors that really showed me how passionate you have to be about the work you're doing. I'm definitely interested in applied biology, but also in medical fields, so I'm just seeing where that will take me. But research is definitely something I want to do in the future.